Love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. 
When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put away the childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in the mirror, when we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Amen. 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 Thank you. He wrapped himself in light, and darkness tried to hide, and trembled at his voice, and trembled at his voice. How great is our Jesus, John chapter 17, verse 11 through 23. Now I am no longer in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to you, Holy Father. Keep through your name those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Those whom you gave me, I have kept. And none of them is lost except for the son of perdition that the scriptures might be fulfilled. But now I come to you. Yes. And these things I speak in the world that they may have my joy fulfilled yes. in yes. themselves. Yes. I have given them your word. Yes. And the world has hated them because they are not of the world just as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world but that you should keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also may be sanctified by the truth. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, yes. that they all may be one. Yes. As you, Father, and are in me, and I in you, that they also may be one in us, yes. 
that the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory which you gave me I have given them, that they may be one just as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved me, loved them as you have loved me. Amen. Church of God, say glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Amen. As I listened to the text that was read and lifted in our hearing, I want to ask this one simple question just before we go into prayer. If Jesus prayed it, do you think his prayers will be answered? Yes. Yes. Amen. Come on now. Yes. Yes. Come on here. Yeah, yeah. Which means it's a done deal. A done deal. Yes. Unity has already taken place yes. once Jesus prayed it. Yes. We've just got to get in line. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Yes. Amen. The prayer has already been prayed. And the prayer has already been answered. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we, your people, sheep of your pastor, we thank you for allowing us to gather on today. Lord, we thank you for helping us get in line with your prayer that's already been answered. Father, we pray for unity, not only in this community, but not unity in this council, unity among our, among our churches. Thank you. 